Hi, in today's video I'm going to import an audio track into Cakewalk, which is a free door. Then we'll process the track with a little bit of EQ and some digital delay to give it a stereo effect. If you want to do this at home, there's full instructions on my website how to set up a simple home music studio in four easy steps. On the website you'll also find the guitar track to download. OK, so let's get started. Here we are in Cakewalk at the start screen. For this project we're just going to click on Basic. Which gives us two tracks, one audio track and one MIDI track. For this example we're not going to be using MIDI, so we just need to look at the audio track here. The first thing I'm going to do is just change the track colour to gold so we can see which track we're working on easily. The next thing I want to do is download the audio file. So here, here I am at my website williamsoundstudio.com and this article, How to Set Up a Simple Home Music Studio in Four Easy Steps. A little down the page after installing Cakewalk Step 4, mix your first piece of audio. We can download the guitar track here. Download. OK. We can close that down. So I've moved that file to the desktop. Right click to import audio. It's on the desktop. import it and then we'll take it to the front and press play. What you can hear is a mono recording of a guitar. So the first thing we're going to do is add a little bit of EQ EQ equalizer. Okay, we're going to be using band 1 and band 5. So let's just switch these others off. So band 1, we want to filter high pass at 80. 80. And band 5, we want to filter at Two four four nine, and we're going to increase this to eleven point three decibels. So here we're rolling off some of the low end and just adding a little bit of high frequency. So if we listen to that again, we should notice that a little bit of the low frequency is gone, and the guitar will sound just a little bit brighter. Let's have a listen. And without okay I hope that you can hear that difference let's switch it back on then let's add the digital delay we are just going to use a preset here which is the short rhythmic delay one. So under presets, and we're going to mix at 25%. There we go. Okay, now when we press play, we're going to hear the effect of the equalizer and also the delay that we've just added. Let's have a listen. And that's it for this exercise. There's more effects in Cakewalk to explore, so I'll leave you to do that by yourself. Thanks very much for watching the video today, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.